with old Barry again, and uh, over the last week I've been releasing a fair amount of material. Uh, it's nice to be back outside again. We had uh, about four days of uh, good 20, 25 mile an hour wind, so couldn't do our videos, you know, while we're on still under lockdown, and uh, we were granted another uh, extension of uh, up to 25 days. I mean, you know, it's, there, there's got to be some truth to the statement that genius has its limitations, but stupidity is limitless. I'm, with the decisions that are being made, I'm starting to weigh that there's a fair amount of truth to that. But anyway, uh, I know over the last week I've been pumping a lot of videos out your way, a lot of it's boots on the ground, and a lot of it's very powerful information, and we're going to keep going in that direction. Uh, why? Because nothing else matters until people get back to work and the economy start moving again and currency is changing hands, which is the velocity of currency starts, the Baltic dry, in other words, sea freight starts, uh, short freight starts, air freight starts. Uh, until things like this happen, every day that we go along with this facade, we're, we're adding months and months of destroying our, our futures. But anyway, such is life. I never said we were a smart species. So, but I've been releasing a lot of videos, but you know, we're also at the same time, uh, while so many people are asking us how we see these options and this and that, and why we see things maybe a little bit different sometimes, a lot of people like that, and that's great, and, and that's why we're trying to do it and help, but we're trying to get you basically to do is think in a different way, okay, so you're going to have, uh, you're going to have different answers, you're going to have different options that come your way, and we're not venturing into certain ideas until this lockdown, until this lockdown, and until people forward this and forward every bit of real information they can get their hands on to everybody they know, nothing's going to change and we're just burying ourselves, okay? But with that in mind, that leaves me some time to do some extra videos, so, you know, add a little bit more torture to the previous. But if I were to, what I'm saying is we want to get people to think a different way, okay? And that's how you're going to see the options. What if I were to tell you guys, everybody watching this, that everybody knows the days get longer in the summer and shorter in the winter, right? Gosh, I'd say almost 100% of you would back me up on that one without even thinking twice. Well, yeah, sure, Barry, everyone knows that. Where are you going with that? Uh, sure. Okay. Let's analyze it by thinking differently. We were all born with that understanding, but again, just because 100% of us believe it, does Truth, is truth determined by popularity? See, that's a good question to ask yourself, because it's not, never is. And uh, as a matter of fact, truth will never be the most popular, but that's another film, that's another video. But anyway, trying to get you to absorb differently, okay? You know, if you, if you said that to somebody, almost anybody, they're gonna agree with you. But if you tried and to tell them that, no, they're wrong, I bet you several of them will dig in more heels and start, what are you talking about? We have barbecues at 8 o'clock at night. In wintertime, it's dark at 5.30. What, are you sick? Or the world's not flat, that kind of thing. Okay, well, let's look at it a little bit closer, okay? And this is what I mean by apophatic. It's a simple a simple um, example, but, but like I say, uh, that's what creates clarity, is separation and simplicity create clarity. So what's the longest day of the year you're going to have to come up with June 21st by looking it up? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's no coincidence that June 21st also happens to be the first day of summer. Hmm. So what's actually being said there, even though what you believe is correct and what you were taught was correct and what you see with your eyes, meaning more sunshine, is not necessarily correct because June 22nd is shorter than June 21st. June 23rd is shorter than June 22nd. So in essence, the days get shorter in the summer. Now let's reverse this. Again, I'm telling you, we're going to get you to think in a different way. And if you could master this, you are going to live such a better, more adventuresome, peaceful life if you can only learn to adjust the way you think this way. Shortest day of the year, December 21st. What's the first day of winter? December 21st. So from there on, and because the sun starts moving one degree north, um, the days get longer in the winter. 
So you see, many people, everybody, and, and you know, even myself decades ago before I started to learn to think differently, I would have even argued about it. I mean, living in Alberta, it's dark at 3.30 in the wintertime and it, the sun's up at 11.30 in the summer. So, I mean, you know, it, it, for me that was a no-brainer. That's what I was taught. That's what I was raised with. So this is, this is something, uh, a very, uh, I think, a good example of about how to try to get people to think a little bit differently. Uh, if we don't learn to change the way we absorb, if we don't start, and I mean quickly, to mentors when I say that, excuse me, it's, it's all four of us agree to this. If we don't learn how to drop these differences in fast and start thinking differently, we have been programmed through electronic devices, through social medias, through public medias, through mainstream medias. Anybody who taught you and expected and twisted your mind that you are something special, that accurate, honest, up-to-the-minute reality is going to come your way without you investing some effort, you're a fool. And it's just one way we wanted to give you an idea maybe how to absorb something different. Something is obvious as everybody thinks the days are longer, get longer in the summer, and they get shorter in the winter. Just as sure as they're long. That's exactly how these people still wearing masks are going to be arguing with you. There is going to be a problem sooner or later with this, and I'm saying within weeks, because stats prove people can only be locked down for so long before scuffles, before smaller incidents, before larger incidents. And that's anywhere from four to six weeks before it really starts changing. So we're a couple of weeks away. I hope we're not right on that, but all I'm saying, folks, uh, we're going to release more videos and some powerful videos about mainstream, about the scripting, beyond a shadow of a doubt, okay? Uh, we're going to start releasing our boots on the ground videos that our great subscribers are sending to us, and we're getting, uh, you know, when we're reaching out to them in different parts of the world, okay? Not one of them, again, I'm repeating this, and I will continue to repeat it. Not one of them yet, and we're over in the hundreds now, not one of them yet has shown any, any sign of pandemonium. In fact, it's near 100% that it's the opposite. This doesn't make sense, especially people in fire halls that are on for 48 and off for 24 and things, emergency uh, you know, um, uh, response units, things of this nature. Not one of them, as we show you more videos, as we show you the script in mainstream media, people, if there's nothing else that, that can be done, we're going to go down as a species, and if you think we're special because we're humanity, well, I might encourage you, if you asked yourself, we're made out of five of the six most common elements found in the universe. There ain't nothing special about us. Just because we don't got the recipe yet, we're getting there, but just because we don't got the recipe yet, and instead of, like, you know, a muffin, it comes out like a cracker, it ain't all that far off yet, okay? There's nothing special about us. We are a herd. And if we cannot figure out a way to get along and sustain ourselves, we will be thinned out just like any other herd has been in history. Please, for everybody's well-being, let's come together and start thinking differently, okay? Um, be careful what you believe. Sugar and salt look identical. Until next time, start thinking different, start absorbing more. This is old Barry. Bye.